When it comes to cancer, it is always important to know your risk. This weekend in Harlem, there's an event to raise awareness about endometrial cancer. It's the most common type of uterine cancer and is one of the few cancers where diagnosis and deaths are on the rise, especially in communities of color. Well, now the Spot Her initiative is hoping to change that. And today marks the end of silence around one of the most common yet underrecognized women's cancers. In the past, women with endometrial cancer have felt their symptoms were often stigmatized or dismissed. But by speaking up about these below the belt symptoms, we can empower her to spot the signs early and take action when it's most treatable. Our next guest is Sean Smith, an endometrial cancer survivor who now advocates for women to pay attention to their bodies. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. Now, thankfully, you are now in remission, but what was it like when you received your diagnosis? Oh, the first thing that ran through my mind was, okay, God, <laughs> what next? What could you hit me with? It was, I, it was, it was shocking, you know? It was, I was scared. And then I wanted to know, well, what are my next steps? What do I do? And Sean, why is it so important for you to share your story with your Harlem community and other women? It's important to share my story because I want women to know that if you receive this diagnosis, there's nothing to be afraid of. Take action. You know, I want women to know we have to start talking about what's going on below the waist. So if you are having an abnormal period, if you're having intense cramping, if you're having spotting or bleeding after menopause, you need to go to the doctor. It doesn't mean that it necessarily is cancer, but get it checked out so you can be reassured that it's not cancer. And if it is, your next form of action is, what are my next steps? Ask the questions, do the research. That's right, ask the questions and get the answers. So often people are just afraid to hear the answers, but as you said, you gotta get them before it's too late. Now let's go over some of the symptoms for women to be aware of. Abnormal bleeding, spotting or discharge after menopause, irregular or heavy bleeding in younger women before menopause, and pelvic pain or pressure. A lot of women experience these symptoms. Why is it crucial not to ignore them? Because, you know, one of the things for me was that I had abnormal spotting, but then I've always spotted. So I, I pushed it on the back burner. And in doing so, it delayed me receiving treatment. So if this starts out of nowhere, you really need to get on top of it because it makes all the difference in catching it at stage one or catching it even before it becomes cancerous, as opposed to trying to fight this at stage three and stage four. Sean, tell us about the Spot Her initiative and what's planned this weekend in Harlem. Well, the Spot Her initiative is a mobile educational unit that's going to be in Harlem during Harlem week on Sunday. And the purpose for it is to spread awareness of the signs and symptoms of endometrial cancer. We're gonna have fanny packs and the photo booth where there are gonna be people for you to talk to. It's, it is going to be a wonderful event to get out and talk about what's happening to your bodies is going to be a wonderful event to share your stories if you are an endometrial cancer survivor because there's a lot of us out there there is a lot of us out there so come out please come out and show your support Sunday it I promise you it's going to be worth it and I'm going to be there so <laughs> well, that's worth it right there. And Sean Smith, thank you so much for sharing your story because it makes such a difference when someone with lived experiences is courageous enough to talk about it openly. So thank you so much for everything you do. 
Thank you for having me. And you can learn more about endometrial cancer this Sunday, August 20th at Harlem Weeks Health Village. It'll be at West 135th Street between Adam Clayton Powell Boulevard and Malcolm X Boulevard from 1 o'clock to 7 p.m. And if you'd like more information, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.